Hi guys, it's Shay from Shay's Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today is the last of the three videos or the series with Cooking with Granny. Um, this is actually the first event that happened Memorial Day weekend. However, um, I wanted to save it for last because to me it is like the show all. It is an epic event because my grandmother is up in age, but she can still throw down. I mean, throw down, guys. Throw freaking down. So, I want you all to see how well she goes in the kitchen and just literally will run circles around you if you are not skilled. So, um, I don't want to chatter too much. I hope you guys really, really enjoy the video. I know I love cooking with my grandmother and I loved her being here in the home with me. So I'm going to take these as precious memories. I hope this actually jogs memories of you and your grandparents or your mother, precious loved ones. So let's go ahead and get to it. Hey guys, Granny's back. She's visiting me this time. My grandfather's over there as well. I am very short on time today because we got a lot going on in just a short amount of time. So I wanted to show you guys what she's helping me do. We're having a fish fry. So she's cooking or she's cutting up the veggies. So this is bell pepper and celery. Now she's on to her onion and she's taking the spaghetti and cooking it and she's gonna be seasoning the fish so I just wanted to quickly show you guys granny and grandpa and now I have to get back to cooking otherwise we will not be eating on time so granny told me that I could not do anything that the spaghetti was hers so even though I bought the ingredients so it was kind of like semi shades type of spaghetti she did all the things with the spaghetti so basically she just melted some butter in with those veggies and she added the ground beef right on top of it there was no seasoning added at this point just veggies and ground beef and she just took her time and started to break it up and incorporated those veggies very very well now while the ground beef was doing this thing on the stove we started the defrost process for the fish so these are crappy and they're just defrosting in cold water. That's all it takes and it is a very quick process. So back to the stove with the ground beef and the spaghetti sauce. So she just uses basic seasonings here, nothing fancy, but after it has started to brown just a little bit, that's when she comes in with the seasoning. So black pepper, salt, a little parsley and some seasoned salt I did not have seasoned salt you guys know this is my version of my seasoned salt so that's what she used now you can see she's very heavy-handed with the pepper and I have to say that everybody in the family got this from granny I mean they love pepper and they forced us all to love pepper so now we literally just load everything up with the pepper not just a little bit but we got to see the flex in the food guys so now she's just adding the parsley and that all-purpose seasoning you know if you've been watching my videos i don't measure either i just i just season and taste season and taste you just season until it tastes the way it needs to taste and that was just some kosher salt guys so we're gonna mix this all up and at this point, it's really going to be touch and go, right, Granny? You just keep stirring. Once the meat is done, you taste it again to see if you need to add any additional salt or any additional seasonings. And then, you know, you add your, you know, spaghetti sauce or whatever. You, some of you may use packets. We'll, we'll show you what she's going to use today. 
All right, so Granny's going in with the sauces now. This is just a small can of tomato paste that she is adding in here. We're just gonna mix this in well so that paste, it thins out. Um, if you add the paste after the sauces, it just becomes a, a, a lot harder for you to like loosen it up. The grease and the heat will help thin that out or loosen it up so that it actually spreads well. All right, so we're just mixing in that tomato paste and just take your time, break it up a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with one jar of tomato basil spaghetti sauce. And I told Granny, I said, well, Granny, I didn't buy any spaghetti packets. Um, I bought some marinara sauce to go in it. And she was like, marinara what? I don't fool around with any marinara sauce. And I told her it was just broken up tomatoes and then she was fine. So we did add a full jar of that and she tasted it or no, she didn't taste it. She looked at it and she said that it wasn't dark enough. So we added another can of tomato paste and diluted the rest of it out with water and poured that in. Okay guys, so it has cooked for about an hour and that is the sauce. It looks so good and Granny said it tastes amazing. Let me show y'all something though, okay? Let me show y'all something, okay? So Granny's in the kitchen. Look at my kitchen. This is fish over here, sorry. My kitchen is clean, y'all. This does not happen. When I'm cooking in the kitchen by myself, those are clean dishes. I'm just got, I just have to put them up. But the whole kitchen is clean. Why? Because Granny's in the kitchen cleaning. And she has cleaned probably about 15 fish. More than 15. She has, they were already like semi-clean, but she has cleaned them even more. She has deboned them, taken all the fins and everything off, cooked a pot of spaghetti, and boil some, boil some sweet potatoes, and it's 11.55, and we probably started at about 10 o'clock. All of this in, in about an hour and a half. So we're about to move on. Granny's gonna be gracious enough to cook us some hush puppies, so I have just taken some onions that I had in the freezer that was chopped up, just waiting for her. I knew they were gonna be needed, and gonna be good for some um, some hush puppies. All right guys, so Granny had a whole assembly line with this fish. I got all three of my biggest, um, my biggest sheet, cookie sheets, and lined them up. She got all the fish and turned them skin side down on the actual, um, what do you call it, the cookie sheet. So what she does is she puts all the fish down at one time. And again, notice she's laying the skin side down. And what she's doing is prepping herself so that she knows what's season and what's not season. So she goes in with just three, three seasons, garlic powder or granulated garlic, salt and pepper. She just goes down the line and makes sure that every fish gets a little taste of that seasoning just like she's doing here. Then she goes back and she flips all the fish over so that the skin is facing up. So what this tells her is if the skin is facing up, then that means she has seasoned the other side and once she's done, she's done. So you guys, we're just combining the spaghetti and we're just gonna pull this together and we're gonna start on the fish. All right, grandmama's telling me to get some hot water and get the rest of that, um, the remnants in the pot to put in here. She says it's, it's she don't want, she needs a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna do. Why? So she's starting out with the fat. Well, starting out with the fish. Granny, did you season the meal? I see. The fish is seasoned. But you didn't. You didn't put any seasoning in the I meal, didn't. okay? 
okay? So Granny just took her time and started to fry up about three to four pieces of fish at one time. We did decide to go outside so the house did not smell like fish. And as you can see, they fried up very, very nicely and it was so delicious, guys. Perfectly seasoned. So after Granny got finished, I had to take over outside because she had to move on to the hush puppies. So basically, what she puts in the hush puppies is just cornmeal. Those are those onions that just defrosted on the countertop. And she adds a little bit of um, self-rising flour. So she's added just a little bit more cornmeal there. But then she adds just a little bit of self-rising flour and a little parsley. Now we had a pot of water on the stove boiling and she adds a little bit at a time and starts to just mix it around and incorporate. The water cooks the onions and the meal and everything. So you do have to take your time. Granny said it has to be the right consistency. You don't want it too watery and you don't want it too dry. Now, I was not present during this time so I can only imagine um, what it looks like when she started to fry it. But yeah. There's no measurements here, guys. It's all feel, and obviously she's not tasting this, so this is just by habit, essentially. So she made up that, swapped places with me outside. This is the last batch of the fish that came out of the skillet or came out of the deep fryer. And then she just uses a spoon to scoop it all out, form little balls, and drop it into the hot grease. And that's it. I mean, it's very simple, but not very simple. I don't think it's they're gonna float. They're gonna come up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband does not eat anybody's fish, okay? And not even the hush puppies either. So um, he was joking with Granny, but he definitely didn't eat anything, even though it was absolutely delicious. So... Basically, Granny says when they're done, they float to the top. That's what looks like. Josh, come on, stop it. You gotta share. Come on, Josh. Gosh, she's a savage. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our final spread, guys catfish. So I could not end without sharing pictures of my lovely family. This is my grandfather, my aunt, and my uncle. Bacon with 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 cheese. It was delicious. Wasn't that absolutely the best? I mean. I sat and watched this video over and over just because I was just in awe at how much we did and what my grandmother did, what my grandmother did. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Please leave any comments down below. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will be aware every time I upload a video and follow me over on my social media on Instagram at Shay's Country Kitchen. Until next time, see you guys soon.